Hi Pisces, I'm here for another reading for you today. As always, it is a general and timeless reading, so just take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't for the next person. If you would like a personal reading, a one-on-one -on -one personal session, or Akashic Records, you can go to 144bluerosetemple.com. As always, thank you for your love. Thank you for all of your support. If my energy and my readings resonate with you, feel free to subscribe, click on that notification bell and the like button so you can know when the next video comes out. We're going to get right into your reading today, Pisces, Divine Mother and Father, Holy Spirit of God. What do we have for Pisces today? What do we have for Pisces today? Patience, Merlin. And then we do have Sensual Wisdom. Okay, now there definitely is a lot of this Kundalini energy that's coming up in the collective as we approach the 9-9 portal. I'm not the only one it is who's noticed it. Uh, we do have Merlin, Cosmic Knowledge, Kadesh, and Baba Yaga, Patience. So any of these energies can resonate with you. Now we do have Protect Your Energy over here, okay? Protect Your Life Force Energy. That's what it looks like here, especially with the Kadesh card. All right. Now, why do we have Merlin, Cosmic Knowledge, Baba Yaga, and Kadesh? Reclaiming Your Authenticity. All right. All right, Pisces, uh, for some of you, you are waiting to align with the right person. With the patience card, that's what I'm getting. And it does say, you know, like sensual wisdom, Kadesh, Merlin, cosmic knowledge, and reclaiming your authenticity. There's a song by, uh, what's her name? Uh, Ella, Ella Mai, is her name Ella Mai? Uh, Can you love me naked? Yeah, yeah. You know, and it's talking more about like, you know, someone loving you for your soul, for who it is that you are beyond the human, beyond the physical body. Uh, this is for those Pisces that you are truly waiting for the right one. Okay, uh, there's a lot of wisdom here, cosmic knowledge and wisdom. Uh, you hold a lot of ancient wisdom within you, Pisces. You have so much to share to another person that has nothing to do with material things. It has nothing to do with physical things or even your body, okay? With the Selkie and her skin here, reclaiming your authenticity. Um, I'm also getting that there's maybe something that you're insecure about. Um, if you're insecure about it, make love to it. It's something that's very beautiful about you. All right, maybe there's like something about you that's physically like a little bit different. And just what's coming through is that you are beautiful just as you are male or female. But what's also coming through very strongly is you have a lot of wisdom. Uh, you're very careful for with who you share your energy with, okay? And you're being called to be patient as you do wait for that right person to share this with. Why do we have Reclaiming Your Authenticity, Kadesh, Baba Yaga, and Merlin? All right, you do have that Ten of Pentacles right away, Pisces. All right, King of Cups over here and the Two of Wands. We're going to clarify each one. Now, I do feel like, again, Ten of Pentacles, we were talking about this on the live yesterday. This is your energy, Pisces, all right, that Ten of Pentacles. And it's, again, much beyond material or physical things. You are the Ten of Pentacles. This is your energy. Whoever it is that you come across, you can upgrade them. You can up-level them. And even if it's not financially, you can and you will upgrade someone's life emotionally, spiritually, mentally, physically. You have a lot to give to another person, especially when it comes to wisdom. You're like this ever-flowing like elixir or, you know, mountain. Um, I wanted to say fountain, but more of mountain, okay? So maybe for some of you, you live in the mountains, mountains resonate with you, but you just have so much wisdom is what's showing here. So you have a lot to give to someone where they can really learn a lot from you. Again, maybe it's spirituality, emotionally or mentally. Um, some of you, uh, you are attracted to other people like sapio. Okay. So like when it comes to wisdom, that is what you're attracted to, but that's also how people are attracted to you. Again, it's much beyond the material or the physical body. Now, why do we have the 10 of pentacles, the higher font? Yeah. Look at that. And that the higher font is a holder of wisdom. Okay. Like you really help people get to that next level in whatever way it is that it is for you, Pisces. Why King of Cups here? Why the King of Cups here? And why do we have the Two of Wands? All right, you have an offer coming in here, Pisces. 
Page of Swords, King of Cups. What I am seeing here is, number one, you're very studious. You are someone who, no matter how much it is that you know Pisces, you're always open to learning. So this is also like, I, I feel like it's very beautiful about you that you do know so much. There's so much inside of you, but you're so teachable. You know, um, you're always learning and you're a student, you know? And so I think that that's very beautiful here. It's like, you're actually showing up as the teacher but at the same time, you do recognize that you're equally a student. And that's a very beautiful quality to have. Um, you're always learning here. Now, Knight of Cups and the Two of Wands. There is definitely an offer coming your way of someone who sees this. Maybe even wants to give you what is in this person's hand over here. Why the Two of Wands with the Knight of Cups? Someone wants to give you something, okay? And it's in their hand. Someone wants to invest in you, Pisces, in some way, shape, or form. Now, this could be financially. You do have the Ace of Pentacles here. Again, you have so much to give. For some of you, Pisces, uh, it's important. What's coming through is it's important to mention this, that even if in this material realm, you may not be qualified for a certain position, maybe you don't have the degree, the certification, God has qualified you. You know, just because you don't have a particular certificate or whatever it is, you actually have the skills and the wisdom to do whatever this is. And someone sees that within you. Why the Ace of Pentacles? Temperance card, okay? Sagittarius energy. Why Ace of Pentacles with the Temperance? Nine of Wands, okay? Definitely keep going over here. There's something coming in for you. Now, this is an opportunity, Pisces, where you and someone else, you know, and it may just even be a company, you're going to be able to give and to pour an equal exchange, all right? Look at that. Overflow for you, Pisces, all right? Why Ace of Pentacles, Temperance, and the Nine of Wands for Pisces? Okay, you are the emperor, you are the empress, Pisces, and something is coming in quick over here. You are attracting an opportunity. Again, this is a job offer. This is someone who wants to invest in you, or um, it could be like a specific company that is going to pay you or give you what you rightfully deserve is what's coming through. Uh, work through those you know, self and limiting beliefs because even if you're not, say, again, qualified in this realm with the certification degree, whatever it is, you have a whole lot of ancient wisdom. Your life force energy, it's strong. It's pure. All right. So you do have the skills and the qualifications. OK, even if, say, man has not qualified you again, spirit has. All right. And so you're going to receive an opportunity for some of you that you do rightfully deserve. And some may even feel like you are unqualified for this position, but spirit has qualified you and your soul. What's coming through is you've been doing this work for lifetimes. You are beyond qualified for whatever that this is, and it's coming in for you. All right. Now, what is the advice for Pisces? Get ready for overflow, all right? Pisces, you have some sort of celebration. Okay, now we have an emperor with the empress. So there's definitely either a divine masculine or feminine. And this is very divine. You're showing up as divine. Another divine soul has their eyes on you. Now, four of wands over here. This is celebrating with someone, okay? So there's definitely someone coming your way, Pisces, that wants to celebrate with you. They believe in you. Uh, what I'm also hearing, hearing is namaste. The divine in me sees the divine in you. Someone definitely recognizes you, Pisces. And with that patience card, you've been waiting a while, all right, to be recognized uh, maybe in the past due to trauma, etc. You've always felt a little bit unseen or hidden, but the divine is not hiding you from this person. This person sees you for everything it is that you are. They're going to invest in you. They're also going to want to celebrate with you. Why the four of wands with the emperor? Okay, this person wants to take you to a whole new level. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy for this person that's coming into your life, Pisces. So you're showing up either as the Empress or the Emperor, but either way, there's another person coming in that sees you. Uh, this person wants to expand you. Okay, for some of you, they're going to want to take you on a trip. They want uh, you to travel. This person sees you truly in the eyes of the divine. And this person understands. This person understands that you deserve so much more it is than you've been receiving. And you should actually be doing so much more.
this person knows that you deserve so much more it is than you've been experiencing okay uh they just want to like take you on a trip they want to show you off in some way shape or form but they also want to help you expand in your life okay so with all of the work it is that you've been doing within of expanding and releasing those self and limiting beliefs uh this person's coming in to help you with that Okay, that's what I have for you, Pisces. I hope that it resonates. We do have final karmic lesson that wanted to come out here. What do we have for Pisces? Okay, you got spirit baby. Spirit baby energy here. Life force energy. Ganesha, okay. Aset. So Isis can resonate with you. Ganesha may also resonate with you too. We do have life force energy and spirit baby, all right? So there could be a spirit baby around you. Um, I feel like your spirit baby is also telling you to protect your energy, especially your life force energy. I'm going to grab a few more cards. What else do we have for Pisces today? What else do we have as advice for Pisces today? Look at that, mountains, okay? So you either live in the mountains, you want to go to the mountains, or um, mountains just mean something to you. Because I said mountain by mistake earlier, now we have mountains. Light beings, portals, subtle energies. So at 1111, as soon as I say that, some of you are being guided to go to a mountain, all right? I do feel like the specific land or mountain has energy for you there, some sort of activation. Uh, Mount Everest, for some reason, is also coming to mind. Some of you maybe are climbers or even hikers, um, and that's what's coming. Also, something valley, okay? Maybe you live close to, and it's, I'm not seeing the word before, but something valley. Maybe you live close to that, uh, like portal or mountain. We do have the mirror, other lives, past lives, and dimensional lives here. What other pieces of advice do we have for Pisces for this reading? transformation death and rebirth shedding all change yeah what especially with that patience card here and baba yaga is a goddess energy of death and rebirth okay it's also the crone energy by the way today is hecate day so hecate may resonate with you baba yaga in general what's coming through is you're going through a big change here there's definitely a death and rebirth all right, especially following, you know, the Lionsgate portal for everyone. Now, what else do we have for Pisces today? We have Artemis, Brave Spirit, Oshun, Sweet Success. Okay, bottom of the deck is Aphrodite, Eternal Love. Uh, over here, again, you're showing up as very strong, okay? What I'm also hearing is precise. Uh, set those intentions. Be clear about what it is that you want, you desire, or that you're open to. I do see you having a brave spirit here. And then we do have success, okay? So with all of this energy, there's a lot of success that is coming your way, Pisces. All right, so get ready. Now, that's what I have for you. I hope that it resonates. I'm sending you so much love and so many blessings to your day.